Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Filipino Freethinkers podcast. That's also a video. I'm Red. I'm Marjorie. Hi, I'm Ria. Yes, and it's actually been a while since we had uh, our last podcast. And it's also a while since we see we last saw Ria. Like, welcome back from the Correct. U.S. Hi. Thank yeah. you. How was it? It was okay. Are they talking about Lady Gaga over there? Not so much. Yeah, because that's all because we're... Because they're pretty much okay with Lady Gaga being doing her thing. Yeah. And that's all we're talking about here because... Yeah. Because tonight, as we're talking right now, oh, yes, Lady Gaga's it's concert happening. is ongoing at the SM Mall of Asia. Um, and I don't know if you guys um, have been reading the news lately, but there are certain Christian groups, Christian youth groups, who are protesting the concert. Bible mode youth. Yes. Are on Bible mode. Bible mode. They turned it on. Yeah. So. Major. Wh why do you think that is? Lady Gaga was here. Like, like it, this is her second time, right? Right, right. Mm -hmm. When was the last time? I think she was here two, three or four years ago. Three or four years ago, and you were, you there. were there. I was there. Yeah, so, so what's different? Uh, did you know about any fundamentalist groups who were there that time? No, nothing crazy about it. But um, then it's also worth noting that she hasn't released her second, I guess, more controversial album that yeah. she's also using the songs from yeah. with this tour. Yeah, so apparently there's something about this particular song, it's called Judas, Judas. that others are calling blasphemy. Now, right. what, what what can we see in this Judas video? Um, um, well, I think the video in particular is pretty, um, if you were a very conservative Bible-thumping Christian, you would really uh, burn your cookies. Uh, you can see Lady Gaga with the crown of thorns. Mm -hmm. You can see her dancing around with, um, I don't know. Like a motorcycle gang. Yeah, and yeah. it right. also basically depicted Jesus and the disciples yeah. in a bike gang. And yeah. there was a love triangle, mm -hmm. like between, between Jesus, Jesus her, Lady and Gaga, yeah. and who was playing Mary Magdalene, mm -hmm. a gothic Mary Magdalene, and Judas. Judas. Yes. So. And yeah, the so song I'm, itself is talking about her um, love for Jesus, but she can't help, she can't resist Judas as well. Yeah. Now, defenders of this song are saying mm -hmm. that we are supposed to take this metaphorically. Like, Judas mm -hmm. was is supposed to be a metaphor for one of Lady Gaga's exes. For a, yeah, for of a course. past boyfriend, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I find this interesting because metaphorically reading it, is usually the defense that Bible defenders use. Like, right. if a particular verse does not agree with what they believe in, you're supposed you're to read it metaphorically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Don't take it literally. Too uh, literally. Yeah, there, there, it, it has a secondary meaning that wasn't really a snake. more glorious than, yeah. than <laughs> the literal meaning. Um, actually, apart from Judas, they also don't like um, the LGBT message, message. message of her other single, Born This Way, mm -hmm. um, which also came out in the second album. Um, so I think that also ties up with, with what they've been protesting against. Yeah, um, like recently, um, the International Day of Against Homophobia um, occurred. It was last week. Yeah, and that whole Idaho, last week. It was yeah, May Idaho. 17. Yeah, May 17. And I, I mean, Born This Way was one of those songs that just kept it's on. It's their anthem. Yeah, exactly. It's one of their anthems. Yeah, it's yeah. a great song. So, um, yeah, I, I guess that also helped with their ire, with the Christian Even ire. before that, Lady Gaga has been a huge supporter of the LGBT community. And yeah. she has um, supported campaigns against bullying as well. Yeah. yeah. Now, one of the, the words that's thrown around like in these discussions mm -hmm. online and offline is the word bigot. Now, I, I defined this term, bigot, in one of my recent posts, bigot, bigot Etymology. I suggest that you all read that. But one of the other definitions that I'd like to make clear is how you define fundamentalism and dogmatism. Because okay. fundamentalism is actually one of the things that, that you call like the, the people who were protesting Lady Gaga. So they were fundamentalists, and everyone keeps saying it's more fundamentalist in the Philippines. Now, I'm saying that we have to be careful when we use the word 
fundamentalist because it has a very particular meaning, and that is taking the words of the Bible as literal truth. Now, you can't say that a person is fundamentalist simply because they adhere to their own beliefs very strongly. Right. That's not what a mm -hmm. fundamentalist is. Like a lot of people are saying, you're a fundamentalist Christian or whatever. That's That cannot be the case. A fundamentalist has a particular meaning that applies to a particular group of people who take the, the Bible as literal truth. And reading the Bible metaphorically is actually something that a fundamentalist cannot do. Cannot do. A, uh, a dogmatist would have the ability of reading the Bible metaphorically, but the interpretations that they use are of someone else, of their church leaders, mm -hmm. and that's what a dogmatist is. A dogmatist takes trust what the yeah, word of the hierarchy. Trust the, the words of the hierarchy as literal truth. Now, free thinkers are people, of course, who translate or who interpret the words for themselves. Yeah. So that, I think, is a very important distinction. Now, let's move on to how much attention this, this topic is getting. Of course, we want to talk about it because we want to make fun of how, yeah. how people like behave. That's why we have the recent satirical posts. Yeah. Um, which you wrote, which was awesome, um, because it really generated a lot of um, attention. And um, it's, it's gotten over 10,000 uh, reads, right? 10,000 yeah. views, which yeah. is amazing. Um, and I think what's so funny and what's so actually what's so frustrating is that there are still some people who took your satirical article um, as fact. Yeah. I mean, you talked about how people were uh, about, about people having same-sex um, canoodling the moment Lady Gaga's song started playing. Um, what else? Like there was lighter yeah. fluid than you. Explosions. Yeah, yeah they set the MOA. I, I talked about how fundamentalists, when they heard <laughs> Lady Gaga talk, yeah. started eating each other yes. without even saying grace. Yeah. Now you can read the, the entire <laughs> post and see for yourself whether you think that any of that can be taken as literal truth. Again, right. we have to be careful about uh, what we believe. Or you can take our word for it that it's actually satire. Yeah, it's satire. There's yeah, a tag. It was tag satire. <laughs> it, it's, um, and it was released like hours and hours before <laughs> the actual concert started. So yeah. a little fact checking could do it. It was a long way. Yeah, yeah but, but in fairness to, to the readers who thought that it was true, um, it's we live in a country where it's very easy to... The, the lines are blurred between what's satire and what's That's true. true. Yeah. Like earlier, I heard someone say that a congressman gave a privileged speech on this issue, on Lady Gaga. Okay. And I had to check, like, is this another satirical post? There are a lot <laughs> of satire posts and satire websites now, so you have to check. Yeah. And apparently it was true. It, like Amado, um, Rep. Amado Bagachin, if oh. I'm not mistaken, okay. like gave a privileged speech. And this is the same guy who wasted a lot of time. Oh, he was the boxer guy. Interpolating yes. Daza when Daza had a privileged speech on how to score boxing matches properly. Oh, right, right. Okay. So this, you'd think that this is satire, like straight out of the onion, but it's actually not. So it's getting a lot of attention, but is it worthy of that attention? Like protesters are going there, and, and I sympathize with them. I think sympathize with them because they, they truly believe that blasphemy is a worse crime and they do believe that it's a crime against God, it's a worse crime than murder. Like this is, murder is a sin against another man, right? And indirectly you're sinning against God, of course. But blasphemy is a direct sin against God. And that, that's why people like Aquinas and Augustine believe that it's a worse sin. And these people actually believe that by censoring Lady Gaga, they're preventing people from going to hell, which is a very noble cause, although misguided. So you have to respect them, but still. Hopefully that is what they believe. I mean, I hope they're not uh, half out oh, protesters. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I hope there's not just like a few fundamentalists who um, just pay off other people to like thicken the crowd or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But regardless of that, like one of the other things brought up by this issue is how easy it is to market or raise awareness 
about uh, anything just by going against the, the mainstream. And this is what happened. Like people are saying, like, like the people behind Ovation, of the, the productions, were geniuses. Concert they, people. Yeah, they brought the concert to the Philippines, a predominantly Catholic country. And they did have to waste um, money on yeah. marketing. Yeah. But did it actually get a lot of people? Like, like I've, I've been hearing reports from, from news sites mm -hmm. that there aren't really many people there. I, I don't know. I don't know. We, I, we I have, well, it's, it's probably the ticket prices. It's, yeah, yeah. I, I, if I'm factor, not mistaken, it's 2000 to 15000 Yeah, the minimum amount yeah. for a ticket is 2000 goes wow. up to, that's the cheapest, and it goes up to ten or 11000 Yeah, yeah. So... I don't know. We'll see after the concert. Let's the see. Two day concert ends. Yeah, there's another one the tomorrow. Yes. Um, if the concert does not end in a public orgy, a and public a arsonist orgy, arsonist. then there will be another another concert tomorrow, and maybe there will be we'll more people again. there. Yes. Yeah. Maybe there will be more people there. I, I I'm interested to to hear what the fundamentalists say and about this. Again, there, it's about always fun to listen to fundamentalists. Uh, I, I was discussing with, with some people that with some people you don't try to convince them of your arguments because you know that they will never be convinced. Like you argue with them just to show others like how a certain how, group thinks. How they think, exactly. Yeah, how they think. I, um, just I, let them talk their way. Yeah. So I, I'm reminded of what happened with Miriam Kambao. Like she became an inadvertent hero of the LGBT community. She raised more awareness about the LGBT community and LGBT issues by being anti-LGBT. With just a tweet. With right? just uh, no, it was actually or an interview. Oh, an interview. That she tried to apologize for, but with with, with, with even tweet. more bigotry. Oh, with even okay. more bigotry. So she, her anti-LGBT statements raised more positive awareness about the LGBT community, it really galvanized support for the LGBT community. And it did so much in such a little time than even most of what the pro-LGBT community have been doing for a lot of, um, a, a long okay. time, long time. So thank we, you. Thank yeah. you, Miriam. Oh, and thank, thank you. you. Yeah, we have to thank the bigots, actually. I had, it's a birthday. What? It's her birthday. What's her birthday? It's Miriam's birthday. birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I actually tweeted her. We greeted her from the Freethinkers account. And I tweeted her that I do respect her courage and her right. honesty in standing for what she believes in. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, say what you will about what she believes in, but the fact that she can state them plainly without being afraid of how others would criticize her um, is something to be admired. So, there. Like, yeah, there's still a lot of things that we can talk about with the with the Lady Gaga issue. Do check out the recent posts on our website on the topic of Lady Gaga. And this, any last words? Any last um, words? I guess I don't know. You you don't know. <laughs> we'll see how much the youth has degenerated. Yeah. Over the weekend. Over the we weekend. will keep you posted. Yeah, we, we or over the next few days. Yeah, we we can actually measure how much contraception use increases. Yes, and, and how much um, divorce, euthanasia, and, and all of these other coupling. evils like arise from Lady Gaga from her monstrous influence over today's culture. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I like I said, like when when this whole thing started, it's not as if the youth don't have access to the internet already. Like, they can get all of their moral decadence there for practically free. Sure, yeah. So, So to think that Lady Gaga could add some more decadence to what they've already gotten so far is, I think, idiotic. So, right. last um, words? Last words. Um, I'm, I only hope that so much um, debauchery happens tonight and uh, maybe tomorrow night that Henry C goes bankrupt or something like that. <laughs> okay, so yes. thank you very much. Okay, see you at the next podcast. Good night. Hey guys, we're going to have a have <laughs> 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 Okay. Hey guys.
Magkakaroon po kami ng meetup ngayong linggo. We're having a meetup this Sunday at the, at the... Do we have a venue already? It's... I, I, it's Anson's from Anson's meetup. Okay, meet it's at Anson's Starbucks. And it's going to be at 2.30 to 5.30 p.m. There's no need to register for anything. Just show up. Everybody's welcome. Bigots, free thinkers, dogmatists, and fundamentalists. We... We have open arms ready to welcome you. So, on behalf of Rocky and Margie and Ria and all the free thinkers in the universe, <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in. See you See next you time. There. Thanks to our sponsors. <laughs>